I am Seydi Hautala and I am a Vice President of the European Parliament and a colleague of Linnea and Terry. And um, I think Terry uh, pointed out to something quite important that uh, there was a time when we believed that freedoms and, li and liberty would just gain and uh, our societies would become more tolerant, more uh, permissive for diversity. But now, uh, the last few years, I felt that there is, in a way, to put it very bluntly, a kind of a war of values. And uh, there are serious competitors to the uh, liberal democracies who are bound by universal human rights and freedoms. Uh, and we see that uh, not only is the European Union in fact surrounded by this type of autocracies who uh, would be called illiberal democracies who fight diversity <coughs> but we have them uh, within and uh, my experiences come mainly from uh, my work on uh, uh, sexual and reproductive health and rights and that work to defend the right of every uh, woman and if, uh, of a right of, to, to decide of her body uh, to combat uh, child marriage mm -hmm. Um, uh, sexual mutilation, etc., which of course also can be an issue uh, for, for men, uh, has shown that there is a, a deep-rooted ideology, uh, and actually some academics are, are researching this now. They call it gender, that there, is some, so there are some forces in our societies who claim that there is a gender ideology that tries to turn everything into uh, sexuality, or gender and um, destroy indeed as many of you have said the traditional values and the family values and um, in fact there was even a summit of uh, such conservative forces here in the European Parliament a year ago uh, which was based on the notion of family values um, but um, at last minute we managed to convince that our president Mr. Tajani should not uh, be the one who is opening this conference because it would go, go completely against the, uh, the positions of the European Parliament who has a majority that is defending diversity and freedoms and rights. So uh, the European Parliament has become a kind of a battleground and we have to take this extremely seriously. And um, as a sort of long-term human rights uh, fighter, I also realized that how important it is to, to listen to the stories uh, that we have heard from Nadira and Anastasia. We have to take very seriously the persecution uh, against the LGBTI people, uh, in, uh, especially but not only in the former Soviet republics. And uh, I must say that I admire your, your perseverance, your courage, your conviction. And uh, these kind of evenings are in order to, to make ourselves strong together and give support to you. Uh, I've been directly involved uh, recently in a case of a, of a, a young uh, Chechen musician who uh, came to Finland and uh, who um, seeked uh, for asylum because he was a musician, he is a musician, he had no beard, and that made him a victim of uh, the anti-gay uh, action by uh, President Kadyrov and, and the loyals to him. So uh, he was under serious threat and he had to flee uh, the Russian Federation, the Chechenian Republic, uh, and seek for asylum. And I, I, I think uh, it's time for um, everyone to understand that um, uh, discrimination against uh, uh, sexual orientation, sexual identity, gender identity, have to be all over the European Union an important uh, reason for um, applying um, uh, the right to asylum. And this is now practiced in some countries. It's very unfortunate that it, it has to be so, but it's better to give protection and see that uh, we also at the same time at the political level that we tell the, the regimes who suppress the rights of, uh, of LGBTI people that this is not in line what we accept and we have to raise all these issues in the human rights dialogues uh, with these countries. And um, we have to be very cautious about the, 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 and, and, and uh, aware of the situation in the Central Asian countries and I'm very happy to, to learn more about that because I've always been very interested in, in your countries and of course in the Russian Federation as general. So it's great to have you here in the European Parliament and let's make sure that this kind of uh, 
um, notion of fighting gender ideology is not permeating our political uh, sphere because there uh, we have the most regressive forces. Either they are against women's rights, they want to show the woman the place, or they are against the uh, diversity of identity and uh, they are for authoritarian rule. So this is not what we want and let's celebrate the fact that there are enough people also in the European Union and in the European Parliament who want to, to, to support you and, and do this work together. So you're very welcome to the European Parliament. Thank you.